Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back. Well, if you are just sick of logo mania, logo is everywhere, and you just want a classic bag for every day, the very, very best of classic bags, you've come to the right place, you know? <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, if you're looking for the classiest of bags, you've definitely come to the right place because I have a magnificent list for you today. You're just going to love them. No logos anywhere, but just fabulous excellence and exclusivity and elegance is what you're going to get out of this video. Now, before we go any further, sticking with, you know, elegance, classy, timeless, beauty. I just said it had to be the fragrance of the day. It had to be Chanel Chance Au Tendre because this beauty has been around for a long time. She is classic in a bottle. Class in a bottle. She's fresh, she's fruity, she's powdery, she's musky, she's got grapefruit in there and she has musk in there and rose and she is a fresh spice bomb. Fruity, floral, fresh, powdery, spice bomb. She's beauty, beauty, beauty in a bottle. Very, very fresh, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And the shout out of today, I'd like to say hello because in my last video, Victoria left a very funny comment. So I would like to say hello to Victoria Olympia. Hello, Victoria, how are you? And thank you so much for leaving a comment. And if you want a shout out, leave a comment down below. Now, moving on to our classy handbags. Coming in at number 10, I'm going to, go, going to rank them from number 10 all the way down to number one. So number one being my favorite. They're all classy, they're all timeless, they're all discreet, which is, you know, that quiet, quiet luxury. Just really, really beautiful. So coming in at number 10, I've gone with Gucci. But this bag, the Jackie O, is definitely, definitely the most understated Gucci bag in my, and it's the heritage behind it the story behind it. The first lady herself, Jackie Onassis, you know, she was the one who made this bag iconic. I love it because you can wear it on the shoulder and since it has been reissued, you can also wear it cross body because they've added a shoulder strap, a detachable shoulder strap to it. This bag is beautiful, particularly in the plain leathers. Like you can get really nice colors and get it in just a plain black and like a whitey cream, green, just the plain, plain leather, no logos, nothing, just that beautiful a little clasp that it closes and I think it is and has been around for a very very long time and will be around for a long time to come. Just a really elegant stylish silhouette of a bag. Really beautiful. In at number nine I have gone with and I have done a video on this just not too long ago is Loner. This brand is just popping up everywhere lately particularly since the Queen died and the Queen is the very essence of elegance of excellence, of exclusivity, beautiful. This bag is amazing. But what is so beautiful about this bag? Again, its heritage is just unbelievable, but also you can customize your own bag. Whatever colors you want, whatever combinations you want, whatever materials, if you want patent, if you want leather, if you want a navy, if you want to mix blues with pinks and creams. And I put up lots obviously on screen here and they come in at 3,150 euro. And you know, there isn't this game of waiting of you're buying history, all this kind of stuff. They just are quality in a bag. They have heritage going back for years and years and years. An English brand and an absolutely stunning, stunning bag with a beautiful, elegant and discreet logo with that rope detail. Now, in at number eight, I have gone with a brand that, again, it has been around for years, but is not so much mainstream. It's you know, its heritage is there again. It's an Italian brand. It's around since 1937 and it's the Velextra, the Acida Velextra bag. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag. The quality of this bag is unbelievable. The silhouette is stunning. It's very, very roomy inside and the, the top handle is quite thin and it has a removable, detachable shoulder strap also. This brand comes in, I think the smaller one is in and around 2.3K and it goes up to 4.2, depending on the size of the bag that you want. The leather on this bag is stunning. It's almost like the Epson leather in Hermes. And again, this brand has been, it's a quiet elegance that has been around for years and years, comes in all different colors. If people like that understated elegance, this is the bag for you. This is the bag that's not shouty or showy. It's the quality that speaks for itself. Next, coming up, I said, well, where will we go next? And I've decided to go with none other than 
a beautiful French brand that also has been around for years. And again, Plastics with a Quirk just unboxed hers and I've been looking up this brand for a while now. And it's Delvo. Delvo are right up there with Moina, Hermes, the whole lot. And this, the brilliant bag, is beautiful. The Delvo bag is made of 64 pieces of leather that are hand stitched together. The skill that goes into this with the artisans. There's one artisan that makes this bag from start to finish. Just exquisite, exquisite craftsmanship. The detail of the buckle, which is shaped kind of like a horseshoe, but also it's like the D for Delvo. And again, it comes with a detachable shoulder strap. I really do think this brand is getting a lot more notice lately and a lot more people are starting to, to pay attention because they're sick of mainstream being pushed and pushed and pushed upon us. And this is a quieter luxury, but the quality is right up there with the likes of Hermes and Moina. Beautiful, beautiful brand. This brand starts at, for the mini version, it's quite expensive. It's about 4,500 for the mini and then goes right up to five, six, that kind of price. But just a stunning, stunning bag. If you're looking for something a bit different, you have the quality, but you know, not everybody and its mother has this bag, you know? <laughs> Next up, we are going to go with the Fendi Peekaboo. This bag is beautiful and it absolutely screams elegance and sophistication. It has a quiet kind of, I don't need to shout about me, beautiful little peekaboo style in the front. You can get it in all the different sizes, all the different leathers, all the different colors. And it is just, has been around for a long time. It's an iconic bag at this stage and you can kind of customize it and get them in all the different sizes. As I said, it is quite expensive, but the quality in Fendi, I don't have one. I was actually looking out for one recently, but I don't have one at the moment. I, I had the baguettes and style, but I've never had a peekaboo, but everybody that has them just absolutely love them. So the Fendi peekaboo is definitely up there as a classic and is going to be around for a very long time. Next up after that, I have decided to go with Loewe. Loewe's style and craftsmanship and ingenious architecture is just to die for. I had the Loewe puzzle bag, but mine was in medium. And I have been actually thinking recently, even though I'm kind of on a ban, that I would love to get the small, but even in the future, sometime down the line, I just think this bag is so beautiful, particularly in that stunning tan color. It is the quality of Loewe, anybody will tell you, it is just beautiful, Spanish made brand. The colors this bag comes in, the styles, it's just funky, but it's timeless and it's minimal and it's, it's everything. It's trendy, but it's classic and it's gonna be around forever and ever. Again, another iconic bag and, you know, quite a good price, but it's getting up there with all the rest of them, as we know, with all these price increases. But Loewe Puzzle Bag is definitely a bag I would recommend. Moving on to the top four. And number four, I have decided to go with Bottega Veneta. Could not leave out Bottega Veneta because they are the essence of understated, elegance, discreet, no logos, quality, craftsmanship, that antracciato leather, the designs they come up with is just incredible. But the two I have gone with this time, even though I love the mini Jody, but the two I've gone with for everyday practicalities, there's a new one that's just come out actually, and the color of this one, oh my God, when I saw it, I was like, wow, it's stunning. So it is called, yeah, it's the brick bag and it's a shoulder bag and it's called Barallo is the color. It's like a maroon kind of a color. It is so, so beautiful. It is 3,500, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I'll put some pictures up. Then there's also the teen Jody, and then there's the small Jody. The small Jody is bigger and more practical for your shoulder. The teen Jody, this one in particular with the studs on it, and again, the Barolo color is stunning. The teen one, again, is 3,500, I think because of the, the studs that it has on it. And then the small is, I think it's 2,900 and they have it in this almond color. They have it in that maroon color. And Bottega Veneta are just known. They're kind of like that old money, sophistication, quiet beauty and elegance and just, they're just very, very discreet, but such, such high quality. Just beautiful, beautiful bags. In at number three, I have gone with one of my own bags. And you say, well, have you a couple behind you there, Viv? And yes, I have gone with my Givenchy Antigona. And the reason she's at number three is because the price of this bag is just like so much more affordable than all the other bags. This bag is not going anywhere soon in my collection. It's very much an everyday bag. It's very practical. It's very beautiful. Just the silhouette of this bag alone, the box leather, it's seamless and it's streamlined and the structure and as I said, silhouette are just 
divine in this bag. I absolutely love it. Katie loves this bag. The quality of the zip, the structure of the zip, the quality of the zip is just divine. I think I paid 800 euro or 850 for the mini size. They're gone up since then. But for your price, this is the bag. Comes with a detachable shoulder strap as well and has the little D-rings on the side. And you can get the soft ones now if you prefer that kind of a style. But I just love this. I mean, she's so understated. You wouldn't know, but like, just elegance, just real cool elegance. A beautiful bag, worth every penny, and she just sits there in perfect shape, in perfect condition. Just a very, very well-behaved bag, you know? <laughs> I would definitely recommend anybody to buy a Givenchy bag. They are just stunning. Now, the last but not least, the last two. In at number two, it's a bag I don't have, but I have looked at over the years, and definitely it is a little stunner. And it's the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour, and this bag was all over the place at one point. There was a mad kind of rush for it, a frenzy about it, and it's kind of quietened down. But there's still a lot of people that are massive fans of this bag, particularly the price point. I think it's in around 2,200 US dollars, and it comes again in all different colors. It comes in all different leathers. It comes in a croc embossed leather, and it is just very elegant. It can go from day to evening, particularly the tiny little size. And I think it's a beautiful bag. It's a bag if you never wanted to go down the Hermes route, that is definitely a bag to consider. It is just beautiful. All it has, logo-wise, is the tiny, tiny sandal on the front. You wouldn't even see it. And it's just so, so stunning. So last but not least, in at number one, and of course, yes, it had to be, but stick around. It had to be Hermes because I just think they're just a stunning bag. Again, they don't scream. They don't have logos everywhere. Okay, a lot of people would know an Hermes bag. But a lot of people wouldn't. You know, it doesn't have big G's. It doesn't have massive logos. It's, it's again, understated, streamlined, beautiful, practical. You can carry your stuff in here, durable. And I just think the quality and structure and in this bag and the attention to detail, again, the heritage behind it, the story, the artisans, everything else is impeccable. Just impeccable. But if you didn't want to go with the likes of a Birkin, I would recommend, now again, I don't have one, but I've seen them and I just think they're gorgeous, is the Hermes Her Bag. And the reason I think this bag is gorgeous is because, well, first of all, the price point. The price point is 2,300 euro in and around, up to kind of 4.2 thousand. You know, we can change that into dollars. It's, it's pretty much the same at this point. But it is so versatile in that the top piece of the hair bag can be removed and you can change around and use different canvas colors. The only downside of the hair bag is that if you get a light canvas color and you spill something on it, i.e. tea, wine, coffee, you're pretty screwed, really. So unless you want to change the canvas, wash it out, things like that. But I just think this is such a practical bag. Again, understated, beautiful, really nice quality and you don't have to play the silly games to get it. So that's my list, ladies and gents. Tell me what yours are. I wanted to put Moina in there as well, but I'm gonna do another video and Moina will be in there because I wanna do some research on the Moina brand because again, it's right up there with Hermes and it's a heritage brand as well. So I'm gonna do another video and Moina will be included in that. Don't miss out. The way not to miss out is to hit the bell, hit subscribe, you'll be notified of all the videos. And until next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. I love you lots. Mwah.